again. Give it a gentle okay. pull. Perfect. I mean perfect. I love how reactionary the yeah, clutch look, is. Look. Really wants to move. Yeah, that's nice. Agreed. That's nice. Why don't you get comfortable and rip it around a little bit while Don't I start, uh, start mine? Yeah. Good luck. Over here on my side. Let's see what we can do. Make sure my kill switch is off. Now it is ready to go. Mine has a TMR engine in it. I also put the one inch extension on the front and one inch extension for the links on the back. So now I've got a wider wheelbase. warm up a bit so you're just driving slow right now kind of giving that engine yeah, a chance to warm up so thick and throaty and rich like it, it does it's got deep fart so this is a 49 cc like hundred and fifty dollar US engine that's normally made for uh, you know mini bikes Oh, you're deep over there. You may need to give her a push. Yeah, go give her a oh, I can do it. Yep. Quite a steep embankment the guys can't see. Yep, I'm you're in reverse. Forward. I love the fact that a giant monster truck like this that's gas that's has great. reverse. That just got you out of a nasty spot. Yep. Now people would say give it a tune. Yeah. We're going to. It has a high speed tune on it. You want to do a tune after the first tank, or when do you do a tune? Which oh, we can do it right now. Yeah, hey, okay. Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah, good. No, so like a quarter of a run, I got you. A quarter turn. Yeah, I did a quarter turn. Perfect. Now give her a little brat. Take her around the circle again. Okay. In the colder temperatures, we try to run it a little bit richer than normal. But you can lean these engines out quite a bit. Only one adjustment needle on here though. Keep on it, keep on it. Nice job. Yes, yes. A lot of people don't understand the size of this machine. <laughs> frightfully scalable. It's frightfully scalable. It's gonna be the name of my next memoir. Whoa, look at it though, hey? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh! oh whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> A magnet. Remember, look where you want to go, not where you're going. Away from the door. <laughs> We're just driving around right now trying to keep Jem's uh, engine running here as we break it in, but being in the cold, it is a bit of a challenge as well. But once it, it starts easy, just trying to get that perfect tune right now. Just missed Jeff.
Yeah! Ah, it happened again! Look at this. The end of my shock came off. Well, I should have used some Loctite, hey? I know how it goes. Thread lock at least on that screw. That, I wonder if that's the same one, but I did have a damaged part on this shock before. Jam, can I get you to hold this for a second? Yeah. This is easy to fix. It's just missing a, a uh, the screw that goes into the piston there. I'll lift it up so we can limp this home. It's too bad. I wonder if we got any of that flip. What an epic flip. It was a really good flip. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, plus it'll give me a chance because these obviously, as we knew, were going to be way too bouncy, right? It was this yeah. clod buster revival here. And uh, as long as we can drive it back because we got to carry mine back. I think if I switch out these springs to like a lighter yeah. spring, like maybe mm -hmm. one of my low C blue ones or something, it'll be, it'll be better. I've Super seen success cool. with other people, but there you go. So one of the issues I notice in the cold is that the sock, you don't need to really see in there, but it is just the throttle horn. It normally seems to stick in the cold if it gets any buildup. And then what you have is starting to get a runaway. If you really want to see it, here mm -hmm. I'll show you. So there it is. Could you actually grab the throttle yeah. there and give it a back and forth so the people can see? Yeah. So back and forth, yeah, there we go, thank you. So that is the throttle horn. So I just uh, put some sil uh, dry silicone lubricant on there to help it move back and forth. But I noticed that ice can build up there from the pipe, right? Because all the snow comes up onto the pipe, then it falls down onto the steering right, horn. Right, right. And you start to have runaway and Things stalling issues. Yes, well, I noticed it was on the first one I had too. So people that are running in snow, as you can see, everything is all quite frozen. If you guys do have that luxury in your life, if that's what you want to call it. You know, some people say they wish they had snow. You know, it's like girls who want curly hair or straight hair. You never have what you get. <laughs> that's pretty much it, hey? Let's try to see if that okay. works a little bit better. And yeah, uh, I love this truck. Yeah, well, I want to get a nice speed run here up and down yeah. the way at least. At least one. From the snow and ice, I can't stop it from sticking. I also think it has to do with the cable that's much too long. Back to the workshop. <laughs> That's gonna be costly. A whole front panel, hey? Got no idea when or where. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Now I busted my nose. I'm not surprised. I got a big nose anyway, right? So, uh, what do you think? We spent love a lot it. of money on this truck. It. Do you love it? I love it. Even with the throttle yeah. sticking issue, I think that's going to... Here, it'll work itself out. Well, and, and so one of the things I know that helped me out with that was actually shortening the cable that it comes with. Oh, okay. Um, where, I don't know if they were expecting snow and ice, but dripping off the exhaust pipe onto that area, it does cause some resistance and it doesn't seem yeah. to have a very good, it's you know, snow forever. bushing or, yeah, exactly yeah. right. So no, we can fi awesome. figure that out. I'm glad you enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you for helping us entertain yes. everybody today. I know it's huge. I'm excited. I, People I can't that, even tell. I don't care that it wasn't a perfect run. It was a learning run and it was my first run with the yeah. friggin' 
laminator, first, man. First engine, first tank, you gotta cut it some slack. Yeah. We don't really see these engines open up until about fourth or fifth yeah. tank through. Yeah. Uh, and uh, warmer yeah. weather. Hey, uh, you broke your nose. I know, I totally did, hey? I, I don't know how I'm gonna fix that, but we'll figure it out. At least yours <laughs> is still nice and pretty. And we do have an extra body. It's easy, uh, just, easy fix. Yeah, easy. we'll, we'll, we'll yeah. figure it out. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in today. Woo! And as always, leave a like, click for Jam in the yeah, first monster truck. Yeah, guys, bye for now. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it. Look at that. That's what happens when it's this cold outside and you decide to send it and you have eight shocks on your body. This could have been prevented if I would have taken the time and put some Gorilla Tape or something behind here to help this Lexan have a little bit more flex instead of just breaking like that. Um, and that is a huge bummer. That's totally driver error when I did the flip end over end. And uh, this shock right here, this is the same shock that came apart before and it had a damaged bottom. So I don't know if that's just for that shock that I have an issue with. None of the other ones have been there, but I'm starting to seriously consider putting in some limiting straps.